now recording. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Felix Fairclough. This is my audience. It was a dark and gloomy night. You're walking down the street from Gotham. And just a little bit past the local movie theater, you just recently got done watching the latest <coughs> movie that everybody's been talking about. They've been chatting about it for weeks. And out of nowhere, a man dressed in a trench coat comes up to you holding a sharp-looking blade. Out of nowhere, he says to you, give me your money, honey, if you like to live. You quickly grasp for your back pocket to make sure that your wallet is still there. A dark figure arises out of the shadows and stands between you and this clown. He's wearing a mask like, pointed ears almost. He's wearing a cape. When he turns around to you, you see a tall, dark, handsome looking, well-built man. He definitely looks like he handled himself in a fight. As he turns to speak to you in a low, raspy voice, he says, I'll take care of this one from here. As he turns back to face the clown, you are able to spot and mark on his chest. It was a black symbol encased with a yellow oval. With it left, a right and probably the most sweetest uppercut that you've ever seen in your life before, the clown was down for the count. And just in that, the mystery man vanishes into the shadow. Who am I talking about here? Slide. Ladies and gentlemen, my class today will be on why Batman is the greatest superhero ever. <laughs> so, next slide. Here's a little bit of description. Who is Batman? Batman is Bruce Wayne. He's also a multi-billionaire. He is six foot two. He is 210 pounds of slim, muscular man muscle. He's also slim and athletic, and he has no superpowers. You're already thinking, a man with no superpowers, how can he possibly be the best Superman, super, superhero ever? I'm gonna explain that to you today. Next slide. The bio about Batman. A family out going to the cinema ended in tragedy for young Bruce Wayne, Walking home, Bruce and his father, Thomas and Martha, accidentally venture into Gotham City's notorious crime alley and were, acute, were accosted by a murder. So they were murdered that night, and that became how Batman, or Bruce Wayne became Batman. So, what makes Batman the best? Next slide. Well, here is the Batman. I have found on the local website a why Batman is the best. Now, we all know that everybody thinks Superman is the best superhero ever. Well, I'm about to prove to you why Batman beats Superman. Also, Iron Man. People think multi-billion playboy? That's Iron Man. Nobody can beat Iron Man. Well, I'm about to show you how Batman beats Iron Man. So here we go. Batman plus Kryptonite, which can destroy Superman, make him to a 17-month-old toddler within seconds, beats Superman. Batman plus an EMP grenade or an EMP gun takes out Iron Man. Iron Man made out of all metal, iron, that's why he's called Iron Man. Iron Man minus his money, minus his suit equals just a plain little man. Superman minus the sun, where he gets all of his power from, is just a man. Batman minus his money, minus his cool suit armor, is still a kung fu fighting master. So, Kung Fu Fighting Master is way better than just a plain old man, right? Next slide. What we can never know is what it's like to attain invulnerability or to fly or to have super strength, but we can add and strive to reach the pinnacle of our potential. That's why Batman is so effortly reliable. It isn't freaking feats of strength or athleticism so much as the fact that even in the cape and cow, he is still one of us. He is still just an average man with just a lot of more money than us. So, if Batman were to miss his grapple, which he probably wouldn't, he hit the ground floor at sufficient height, and he'd probably die just like the rest of us, right? But we can never know what it's like for his invulnerability. Next slide, please. Next one. Number two, the symbol. It's more recognizable than any, almost any other symbol on Earth, in fiction or otherwise. I could probably tell you to close your eyes, take out a scratch sheet of paper, and draw the Batman symbol. And we probably pretty close get to know how to draw it, right? Absolutely. Next slide. The human mind as a superpower. So he's just a man, right? That's not to say that Batman doesn't have any superpowers. So 
What well, he's just a man? He's Bruce Wayne, the multi-billion playboy. And then, well, at night, he's the guy that's saving everybody's life. Next slide. Stealth. Batman is a predator. His prey, cowardly superstitions criminal, is who he tracks down. He stalks from rappers, watching, planning, singling them out, and using the Batman legends against them, rending their brawn of power and practice uses. How often did you wish you could confront someone on your own terms instead of theirs? Batman often lives out the very fantasies from us. Next slide. Versatility. Up against, say, Solomon Grundy. He, we know that Superman would do. We know what Hal Jordan would do. Hal Jordan's also the Green Lantern. But what's Batman going to do? It's not so easy to predict. No matter the scale of battle, but the side from side from Justice League or alone, a catcomb between Gotham, Batman can't adapt. Anywhere Batman can find and eliminate his prey. Next slide. So we got, last but not least, Bruce Wayne. When, the, when most heroes remove their tights, they become their alter ego. Superman becomes Clark Kent. Slouching, bumbling, and slightly rotund. The Flash becomes Barry Allen. Mild-mannered, small-time forensic scientist. Well, Batman is still Bruce Wayne, and Bruce Wayne is still Batman. He's always watching and analyzing, regardless of his genius, and communicating finally. When the Bat computer and others in the Bat family, in other words, there's no Bruce Wayne, there's only the mission. Next slide. Who has the Batman beat? On everybody on this slide, from DC to Marvel, Batman can beat them all. The Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, Batman can beat them all. So, in conclusion today, whichever side the Dark Knight is on, you can be certain it's the winning team. That, an ongoing story, constantly explores how close he skirts to the line between hero and villain, and how dangerous he would be to Gotham, even on the Earth, if he ever were to cross it. That is why, today, Batman is the greatest superhero, and hopefully I have inspired some of y'all to change your opinion and options on who is the best superhero. Next slide. This concludes my slide. Here's my audience.